While cut flowers are, of course, always a go to for Mother's Day, there are other gardening gifts that can keep bringing joy to mom for months and even years to come. Tim Joyce wears many hats for us this week. In addition to watching the traffic and keeping us updated on the weather, he is also taking us to a local greenhouse. And he says low maintenance succulents can be a great and easy to care for gift for mom. Well, it is the month of May and time to think about getting that garden growing. So we came down to the new location for Watson's there in Federal Way, as well as their flagship store in Puyallup. And we're joined this morning by Carly. And you've got some ideas for mom. So going beyond the regular flowers, we can actually keep something that's going to be great for mom all year round. What are we talking about? Today? Yeah, for sure. So succulent, super popular, um, super easy care and just they have so much texture and personality. I think it's great for that. And so. putting it together is easier than you'd think. Oh, you don't need any green thumb, really. No, no, super easy. Like you can see here, there is cactus mix. I've got my container here. I'm going to put it in this dark marble, a little different. I do have a matching saucer, so Always the important. drainage can go right through and catch all the water. Now, succulents, though, they like the dry conditions, so it's important to start with a really good base. What do you got going on here? So, yeah, so this is a premium cactus mix. It's going to drain uh, what you absolutely need for these guys. Um, and then I'm just going to space them out so that it's easy to water in between them so that you're not going to get their little petals wet, and that's what they don't like so much. So um, that's one of the big things with succulents is uh, you want to avoid getting their little their little leaves wet as possible. So you so want to water at the base of it. Water at the base of and it. And when you do water with succulents, it's important really to s totally saturate that soil because it is going to be fast draining. Yes, for sure. So you'll want to drench it and then wait for it to go bone dry, bone dry before watering it again. So lifting it to see how light it is mm -hmm. is a great indicator on do I need to water it or not? So it's a learning thing. You're going to plant it, feel the weight, water it, feel that weight, and then wait for it to get all dry and again. And for folks who aren't necessarily comfortable with that sort of waiting game, you can get some soil measurement tools too. Yes, we have moisture meters. You just stick it in there, let it go to the dry end, and then give it a good soak. And pretty much fantastic. The arrangement could be anything like these beautiful things oh, all yeah. the way down the line. So there's lots of opportunities for different styles, or you can get the favorite plants for your mom as well. Yes, for sure. It makes and match everything. And of course, don't forget a card. I Yes. Excellent. Thanks for so much, Carly. Appreciate that. Of course, if you have any gardening questions, feel free to email me here at the station. It's tmq13fox.com. Or you can come on down to Watson's. They've got this new location in Federal Way and their flagship store in Puyallup. I'm Tim Joyce, Q13 News. Nice.